Amongst the different species of fauna found in the Congo Basin Forest is the African elephant. They are graceful, magnificent, and are the world's largest mammal. A report published by the Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, at the 17th edition of the Congo Basin Forest Partnership, indicates a disturbing drop in the population of the elephants. As far as elephants are concerned, the situation is quite different. Uh, in places such as uh, Zonga Sanga in Central African Republic, elephant population are relatively stable, a slight diminution. While in other areas like in Bubabek and Key in Cameroon, uh, the decrease is really sharp and, and really frightening, I should say, with 66% uh, decrease in about 10 years. The drop has been blamed on the illegal trade in ivory. The drastic drop of population of elephants is clearly linked to the trade of ivory, which is illegal. Uh, that, that is well known because uh, we do have a lot of data uh, coming from other studies of ivory being confiscated in trucks, in port, in China, in transit ports. So there is a healthy, if I can say so, uh, traffic of ivory, which is totally illegal. Ivories in the Cameroon black market sell at a whooping $200 per kilo and once in the Chinese markets, most of the ivories is used to fabricate accessories worn by mostly people of the prestigious class. Conservationists say they are working to kill the demand and make goods made from ivory not to be fashionable anymore. China is a huge country, huge population, and most of ivory, not all, but most of ivory we know is uh, for the market in China. So what we are working on is also, as I just mentioned, we are working on killing the demand for ivory. That will take time, but that's one more reason to start now. If you look at Europe, it took about 50 years uh, to 70 years for ivory not to be fashionable anymore. Uh, in the early 90s, it was common to see ivory uh, with people or wearing bracelets or whatever. No longer so. So it took time. It will take time in China. That's why we need to start now. The importance of elephants and other mammals in the forest cannot be overemphasized. They are the one who help really to maintain the forest because if a forest is empty, then uh, this forest will not sustain. It is, it is really important because uh, some plant uh, trees can really grow if they pass through the, the intestine of uh, the elephant, for example. That's the reason why the relation in between the forest and the, the, the wildlife species is very important. The fight to save the elephants seemed to have yielded some results as after so many years, the Chinese government has decided to close the domestic market for ivory by the end of this year.